Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips Dog Grooming Tips and this is Snow and uh, Snow is going to help me demonstrate how to clean up your dog's face when it's grown in quite heavily. Um, I do use scissors and I do use clippers and this time I'm going to show you with some clippers um, just as a different perspective as well. Plus we usually shave it down quite um, close or clean it up really good just because it does grow in quite thick and it does mat up for him. So there's all these little mats in there as well. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So when I do hold them, I'm holding with these two fingers along the jawline so that I can kind of maneuver him a little bit, but also not put any pressure on his throat um, as I do not want to restrict his breathing in any way, but I do want to hold his head up a little bit. Um, and uh, be able to control it a little bit so I can maneuver it as needed. So first I'm just going to start by just taking the scissors and going straight across just to get that hair from hanging over his eyes so I can see where to go with the clippers. I'm just going to go straight across there good boy um, and as with all my grooming I don't use any restraints um, on them and uh, that goes with these guys like this that stay fairly nice but also the guys that like to move around on me and puppies and even dogs that are a little bit nippy as well so I'm just gonna go between the eyes and slowly go down towards the nose the tip of the nose so there we go um, when you're coming right in between uh, under the eye in that corner there um, I like to come from the eye downwards you don't want to go up because you could hit the eye or cut the skin around the eye so you want to be careful with that and there we go so basically it's just to get on get under anything <laughs> He's going to go back on me, but he's good. There we go. There we go. Alright, so I got that top part done. <laughs> and now I'm just coming from the top of the nose downward. And when you're going um, with the lip here, you got to be careful. That you don't catch the skin. So I kind of hold his mouth a little bit so I know where everything is. And as you can see, he stays quite nice for me. I do have some dogs that don't stay as nice for me. When I have a dog that is really struggling with me um, trimming around his mouth like this, I actually prefer to use scissors. Although they look more dangerous, um, this is way dang more dangerous if he's going to bite it or really maneuver around on me. So I know what um, the scissors definitely look a lot scarier, but I have a lot more control with them than I do with these. All right, good boy. Okay, so we got that. Come here. There you go. And I do have lots of videos on my channel as well um, where you can see um, me grooming a variety of dog breeds, all without restraints. I do have a whole bunch of playlists created for you to see um, how I groom a whole bunch of different dogs and puppies and difficult dogs. And I kind of split those all up for people to find so you can find it a lot easier. Okay. Yeah, I know. Can I sneeze? No. And I do all my videos without any editing. So you get to see the raw footage of start to finish. Sometimes I do pause it if I have someone come to my door, but I do not edit any of the videos. So the only thing I've done 
is I pause the video if someone's coming to my door, so I may pause it in the middle of the video, but then I, of course, you get to see when I get grooming again, that's when you get to start seeing it again, so. I'm just gonna do under the chin here. No. Making him sneeze. Okay, good. So I'm also, um, because I trimmed his muzzle so short, I'm going to do under his ears as well with the pin. So we just keep that head a little bit shorter, just because when it does grow in, um, it does uh, get matted up on him. And that's just how some dogs are. Okay, so there we go. You can still see it leaves a little bit of fur as well. So when I'm using the clippers, I'm not going really deep and really close to the skin. Um, I always do find I have to finish up with the scissors just to get that little bit that I can't get with the clippers. And then it gives it that nice, clean, finished look. There we go. Good boy. Okay, and I'm just going to continue to finish off his head as well. A little bit of matting there. With the matting behind the ear, I'll just kind of trim that out and then I'll use the clippers to kind of get under this one. So basically, we're just gonna round out the ears. I guess this is a video just more so of uh, the face and head trim. And like I said, there's more videos if you want to see specifically on me just doing ears or just the face or um, matted dogs. I do have them all separated for you with the playlist. So hope you enjoy the video and uh, you'll subscribe to my channel and check out all the other videos I have. And uh, also feel free to please leave me a comment if there's something specific that I don't have on my channel that you'd like to see. I'd be more than happy to put it on when I'm able to do so. All while keeping all my little babies safe. Treat all my dogs as if they were my own, well, I guess. Treat all these dogs as if they were my own. I always call them my little babies, so they're all my dogs. But they just uh, stay at other people's houses and they come see me from time to time. They may not enjoy coming to see me, but I enjoy them coming to see me. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you'll stay safe and uh, have a great day. And I will see you again soon. So, thanks for taking the time to watch. Bye-bye.